In today's video, I will be showing you the best and fastest way to unlock one of the coolest calling cards in Cold War Zombies. This specific calling card that I'm on about is the Dark Ops Master Calling Card, which requires you to complete 11 of the Dark Ops challenges in Zombies. And surprisingly, with the release of the newest Easter eggs, this is super easy to unlock. And I feel like some of you guys might actually want to do this because it's something to do before Marauder Totem releases. And it only requires you to complete 11 challenges of which you might already have completed. Now I'll be going over the calling cards that in my opinion are the easiest but some of them will be kind of tough and specifically too but I'll give you my best tips and tricks. Before we fully get into the list of the challenges that you have to complete be sure to subscribe. We're slowly making our way through 21,000 subscribers. We're nearly halfway there to 22k and obviously we're on the goal to 25,000 before Marauder Toten. Thank you everyone seriously thank you all so much and also be sure to drop a like on the video. Can we aim for 100 likes? We're gonna go a bit lower just because I don't know how this video will perform but still thank you all so much let's get right into the video so the first thing i'm going to mention to you is the challenges and we'll just slowly go through them and i'll give you the best tips and tricks i can suggest now a hundred percent i can tell you that these will be super easy for everybody and i will get into that later i'll give you best tips and tricks if you're wondering how to access these challenges once you're on call of duty scroll through the list of things up on top which is play groundfall weapons operators battle pass groundfall might not be there when you're doing this because that's a timed event but basically then scroll over to zombies and go to the very very right of this list that's where you will be able to access these dark ops challenges in here i'll go over the calling card so basically the first one i recommend for you to complete is called armed to the teeth this one requires you to have two fully packed weapons with ammo mods equipped and six perks active now this one can go super well with the combination of a different calling card that we'll get into but if you do not want to for example play outbreak which will require you to do this then you can hop into a normal game of zombies and basically use two weapons that aren't wonder weapons so for example use a shotgun and an ar and progressively get up through the rounds and basically pack a punch the weapons what's cool is you do not need this to be gold rarity and you only need to have them pack a punch to level three and ammo mods and six perks which is one less than the amount we actually have right now with the arm to the teeth calling card you can actually also multitask this differently with the invincible calling card this one requires you to reach round 30 without going down a lot of you guys should already have it because this is a very easy one to do but if you're going for arm to the teeth i definitely recommend for you to try to complete the invincible one because that's one of the 11 calling cards that will be off your list and it's super easy to get and i feel like most of you already who are watching this have it so this one was just a bit of in case if you for example are going for arm to the teeth calling card you might as well do invincible if you're not planning to do the other calling card that i'll talk about now this third calling card is a bit of a challenge but it's super easy because you can actually complete it on a very early round this calling card is is called the anvil which requires you to exfil a game with only using melee attacks so basically you're not allowed to use lethals field upgrades or anything like that that can specifically kill zombies for example ether shroud or tacticals are allowed if obviously they don't kill the zombies so basically what i recommend for you to do is spawn in with any kind of melee weapon for example if you do have the e tool i recommend that one but basically get up to round 11 now the cool thing is you can grab your perks you can grab your pack a punch you can level up your melee weapon but just make sure you don't get any other kills with any other thing and x in round 11 the x filling might take a bit of time and kind of be a bit difficult but i recommend hopping in with ether shroud and hopefully an e tool or any other melee weapon and this one should be extremely easy to complete like the other two that we went over a while ago now this calling card will be very difficult since the re most recent health cap to the zombies but it's a good alternative for example if you can't complete any of the other ones this calling card is called good enough which requires you to reach round 20 with only your starting loadout and no upgrades basically what you need to do is with the weapon that you spawn in you need to get to round 20 with not upgrading it not pack a punching it not getting any perks and not getting other kills like with lethals or score streaks so this one will be a bit difficult but what I recommend for you to spawn in with is either the Farah, which is a very good weapon and can get very good headshots to pretty high enough rounds because of its critical kills increased. And also you could use the AMP 63s, which are really good. Now for these two weapon classes, I will put those classes down in the description just if you want to use the attachments as well. Hopefully they should in some kind of way help you out. I know I'm not the greatest with attachments. They are the ones that I use on my weapons. So maybe you'd like to test them out. The fifth calling card that I'll talk about is called Harbinger 
Harbinger of Doom. I'm not entirely sure how to pronounce it. Basically, what you need to do is kill 50 enemies with a single support. So basically, spawn in and maybe get a chopper gunner and get 50 enemies, go up to a pretty high enough round. If you're going for arm to the teeth and potentially the invincible challenge, this should be pretty easy to get. The coolest thing about these calling cards is you can basically combine them into one if you don't have them unlocked yet, and you can basically unlock them in bulks. And the other cool thing about this is you will be getting a lot of XP for completing this. And the last two calling cards that I'll go over that kind of you can do solo and super easy is called Box Addict, which basically requires you to buy every weapon from the mystery box in a single game. This might sound difficult, but once again, I don't know if I recommend for you to do this one with the arm to the teeth challenge, but it's cool because if you basically spawn into your game and straight away go for the box, just keep hitting it until you get the message pop up that tells you that you unlock this calling card. There's no tracking it, basically just keep hitting the box until you get it and I 100% recommend for you to play this on the Machina. Just because the Machina is such a very easy map and overall all of these calling cards, apart from the other easter egg ones that we're gonna go over, I recommend for you to do it on the Machina because the Machina is a super easy map to unlock everything. It's not as hectic and doesn't have elites like Firebase Z. You might not like the Machina but it definitely will help out this challenge. So basically it's the exact same just you know hit the box until you get the weapons and the message pops up. Now this next one is another very difficult challenge which you can combine with arm to the teeth which is called breakthrough. In outbreak complete 10 objectives and exfil in a single game. Now with this one it will be very difficult to complete but it's a nice challenge that you can get easily done and you can get a very easy calling card. So essentially get up to the third phase of the rounds and then activate exfil instead of warping to the next location and you will unlock this calling card. I definitely recommend for you to use the gallo or the hower because it'll make your life so much more easier since they are very powerful in outbreak and just be very cautious and careful of doing this specific challenge. And now on to the last calling cards. They are all of the easter eggs in the game which is currently 4. So we have the D Machina, Firebase Z, Outbreak Part 1 and Outbreak Part 2. I know that a lot of you guys who might be watching this either don't know how to complete these easter eggs or can't complete them. This is where my recommendation for you comes in. I will link my favorite easter egg guides and helpers down in the description including my guide on how to defeat Legion really easily and also including other youtubers that I thought that had very good easter egg guides or just recommendations for the boss fights or just in general the easter eggs and also there is a link down in the description to our discord server server where you are really 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 likely hopefully able to find other people to help you out with the easter eggs so basically if you join it up and you want to find a person to play with comment in one of the discord channels and just straight up ask if anyone wants to complete the easter eggs and hopefully enough of you guys help each other out so you will be able to unlock these calling cards and another alternative for doing this is comment down below maybe you'll be able to also find someone to help you out with these easter eggs i just would love for you guys to be able to unlock these because number one the easter eggs are super Super cool you get super cool calling cards and lastly you were able to unlock the mastery calling card that I showed you at the beginning some of you might not even know it existed but it's super easy to unlock and it'll just get super easier from here because the more easter eggs that we get the easier it will be to unlock and who knows maybe with mauer der toten we will get even more calling cards that we'll be able to basically add on to the 11 specific calling cards. Now the reason I made this video is because before you had to complete ridiculous challenges like the social distancing challenge where you had to get up to round 20 without getting hit or get 1 million kills which is just out of this world or complete dead ops arcade challenges and instead now you can basically simply complete very easy ones without having to do those ridiculous things. Another easy calling card could be round 100 which some of you might already have it but the 11 calling cards that I went over should be enough of a challenge for you to complete between Mauerder Toten or you might even find out that you only need a tiny bit more of them to complete and you'll get this super cool calling card that isn't only cool but it also gives you plenty of XP for each one of those challenges. So I really hope I helped you all out. Remember discord server link down in the description, videos that I think will help you out the most link down in the description and also be sure to subscribe if I helped you out in any kind of way. If you have any more questions comment them down below and I'll try to reply to you. Attachments also linked down in the description and do all these challenges if possible on D Machina since it will be super easy. But without further ado guys, not to make this video any much longer, I hope I helped you out in some kind of way again. Thank you all so much for the support recently and I will see you all guys in the next one. Peace out.